Hi everybody, I'm Brian McMaster and this is Spinal Flossing. Um, let's get our Spinal Flossing exercises in. Reach up high, side bend one time either way. Continue to reach up and rotate one time either way. Reach up and lean back, come forward and squat. Step to the side, turn your foot in, rotate your body in the opposite direction of your foot point, step back. Step, turn your foot out, rotate your body in the opposite direction, step back. One of those, either side, nice and easy. Uh, again, it's tough to see everything, but I'm just coaching you to get it in today, um, talking you through it. So today we want to continue with lying posture, building on our foundation. Again, keeping ourselves close to neutral so we're not beating ourselves up for long periods of time. Um, getting us away from our three-dimensional neutral. So side lying is what I wanted to talk about today. So let's talk about head position and what we can do for that and thigh and pelvis position. So I like when you're lying on your side that you have enough neck support to keep your head and neck centered in between your shoulders. Okay? And paying attention to what you're doing with your shoulders is also important. You want to keep your legs and thighs in a neutral position. So having a pillar or two in between your legs so that your thighs are parallel is ideal. You know, if this is allowing your head to kind of tilt down, then you probably want to fold up some towels and thicken it up. Um, usually two pillows brings you up too high. The other thing you want to do is roll up a towel and put the towel underneath the neck so your neck has a little bit more support than your head. Okay. And the shoulder, you don't want to be lying on the arm and, and choking the shoulder girdle. You want to either roll forward a little bit and support yourself on your shoulder blades. Maybe a little bit of support behind your lower back. Okay. Pretty much try and keep your pelvis and your lower back, upper back, and neck all in the same plane, not too much torque. Again, a little bit of support for your lower back will help you deal with having your shoulder blade forward. The other thing that you can do when you're lying on your side is, is kind of turn it into a side stomach lying position where you have bottom leg straight, top leg bent, back arm behind you bent at 90 degrees, and then other arm in front of you. Instead of having your arms up like this and choking the arm, have it bent down on a 90 degree behind you. So it'll look like this. Okay, and then what do I do with my pillows and towels to support the rest of my body? So this position, I probably want a pillow underneath my knee and waist. And then I want a pillow underneath my head and neck with a little bit of a rolled up towel supporting the neck more than the head. So something like this. And that can support your spine, not allow you to extend too much and jam it in the back. You're in less neck rotation than lying flat on your stomach. Your neck is supported. Your shoulders are in a low stress neutral position. Your uh, hips and pelvis are in a low stress neutral position. This can be really comfortable and be a good alternative to lying straight on your side or lying straight on, flat on your stomach. Okay. Um, so yeah, the problem with lying on your stomach, you've got to turn your head 90 degrees to breathe. And then it's what can I do with my arms and shoulders? And usually your lower back hyperextends and jams here. So, you know, at the very least, put a pillow or two underneath your stomach. And then even your chest. And then work on getting at least one arm down. Okay. But ideally, sleep it on your stomach and no-go, kind of that in-between side lying and stomach lying is ideal. So those are sleep positions, lying positions to help maintain your foundation. Uh, I'm Brian McMaster, this is Spinal Flossing. I'll be back tomorrow with a little bit more of the foundation to finish it up.